right, guys. Hi. I'm going to show you how to make tater tot casserole. It's easy, kind of quick, only a couple of steps. Throw in the oven, be done. This recipe feeds easy five to six people. Um, you can make more, you can make less. This, this feeds like four of us, plus Keith has food for the next day. So, anyways, kind of had to speed it up because it's really hard to hold my phone and cook at the same time. So, here's how you do it. Alright, preheat your oven to 375. And then you're just going to brown two pounds or a pound. It really does not matter just how much you want. I two pounds of ground beef. Okay? And in your ground beef, you're going to put chopped dried onions. Just sprinkle some in there. No measuring, but let's say two tablespoons. Okay? They're only a dollar for a bottle. And then some minced garlic. Okay? Sprinkle some of that in there. And then get your meat brown. And while your meat is browning, all right, you're going to mix one can of cream of mushroom soup. I buy the cheap kind because I have a lot of people to feed and a little budget to work on. All right, can of cream of mushroom, a can of cream of chicken, and one can of carnation evaporated milk. Evaporated. Remember that. Okay, that's important. Don't get condensed. Don't get the sweet stuff. This is cooking milk, and it says the cooking milk. All right. Pour all those into a bowl and just whisk them together. Okay. And then you're going to need a bag of tater rounds or tater tots. I like the tater rounds because I don't know. I don't like tater tots. Whatever. <laughs> Tater round. Okay. So anyway, after your meat is done browning, mine's done browning because I'm taking too long. Yeah, can take this off. And you're going to, without burning your frickin' finger, drain said hamburger. Mm, sorry, this is so not easy to do. Okay, good enough. All right. Drain the meat. Shaky, shaky. Okay. Good enough. And then, dump. That's it. Just dump it. Nothing fancy. Put the crap in the sink. Spread it out. Get the chunks out because chunks of meat are really, really gross. To me, there. If you like chunky meat, that's what she said. Anyways, you can have chunky meat. I don't. Okay, so that's in there. Easy peasy. Then we have to. Sorry, this is going to be really hard. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I should have opened the bag beforehand, huh? But I'm not Rachel Ray. I don't have people doing this shit behind me. Doing this on the fly to give you people some recipes. And dump. Oops, sorry. Dump your tater tots. With the turtles, like, checking us out. It's like, I want some. Okay. Anywho. Spread your tater tots. Out in the pan. Just like so. No particular order. Just make sure they're all over. That's it. And then you get your mix that you whisked up. And you just pour it all over. Okay. Yummy, yummy. 
You guys, it's really no secret to you guys that know me. This is how I got my husband. <laughs> Not tater tot casserole, but cooking, period. And he'll tell you that himself. I weaseled my way into his life by cooking. And I made him gain like 40 pounds. <laughs> Alright, so that's what it'll look like. And then throw it in the oven at 375 for. Um, let's see, you guys, I don't measure or time anything, but for you, we'll do. Damn it, timer. We're going to do check it in. 40 minutes, okay? Or you could peak. We'll peak at 35. Okie doke. 35 minutes. 375. If you want a side to cook with this, I like like Texas toast, like garlic Texas toast. It's really, really, really good. Sorry, I gotta clean up. I can't stand it. Okay, that's it.